Hey guys, Doyle again. Welcome back to another episode of Master Duel Ranked Laddering, where we're going to be jumping into our next set of duels in the Brawn tier, starting with Bronze Tier 5. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First game, another level up game against Fade here. We got another going first roll. Man, gotta say, very, very happy. It's gonna be really helpful to our luck if we keep winning the uh, the, the coin flip, I should say. It, in, in person, it's more of a dice roll. I know Master Duel does coin flip, just to keep it simple. Um, and this should get us there, I think. It looks like our opponent does have some interaction for us, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and normal summon Swap Frog, activate its effect. And we'll send Ronin Toten. I do get the feeling... Oh, no no response. Okay. Well, let's get our blue effect then. I was assuming they'd have uh, Maxi maybe there for us to get some value off of our special summons, but looks like that's not the case. Okay, well, at this point... Um, wow, I wasn't expecting to get this far, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, let's, let's go ahead and, uh, let's, we may as well get, uh, I guess our, our red out of the deck. This, uh, I technically should be holding on to that for next turn, but, uh, honestly, at, at this point, it, uh, doesn't seem like it will be necessary. I could go into Gigantic immediately and get Carrot as well out of the deck, so we have all of our negates possible if I'd like. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Don't want to take too much time here, just in case our opponent gets bored of us. Um, there's Gigantic back again. Again, love that effect. Absolutely knocking it out of the park with the visual effects on some of the flagship monsters here. Very awesome. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and get uh, get our carrot, and we've got our every one of our negates. So let's get uh, elf as well. Could have zoned a little bit better. So there's a little bit of feedback for you guys if you learn to play the deck. We could have organized our zone so carrot was also protected by. By elf as well here it's not a big deal at the end of the day we can fix it by putting our our important monsters in this zone to get elf's protection from from pointing at it but it's just just something to think about it's ronin totem as well and it's the other swap frog that we had this and what are we going to make at this point um let's see here are we just going into ip yeah, it looks that way. And we'll use Ronin Toten one more time, get our last material on the field. So we have access to a Unicorn Spin, multiple Negates, maybe an Appaloosa on our opponent's turn. We, we can get all kinds of stuff here. And we're definitely going to not forget to get our blue search this time. We're probably going to try to use our our elf as quickly as possible here. Toggle on, see what our opponent has for us. If they are playing, they might looks like they might be disconnected. Oh, okay. DDD. Um added dark contract. So that is a search. A search. Um, I'm actually okay with negating that. And we'll see if our opponent has any response for us. Then I'm actually going to chain the elf here so we can get our blue search as well for next turn. We'll see if they have a response here, which it seems like they might. No? Okay. Get blue. Negate our effect here. And we will get our search. We'll have jet for next turn. Maybe. Or maybe they'll stop it. Nope. 
Okay, there's our jet. Well, this one, I am, I do get the sense that our opponent might have a, a little bit more for us than meets the eye here. I'm almost tempted to go into our Appaloosa. If I didn't think we could maybe get by on a spell trap negate at this point. Oh, nope, that's it. Okay, that was enough. Perfect. Well, a nice, nice, quick, easy one to start us off there today. And our rank up. Again, we're on the single dual rank up games, which feels really nice. We're up to bronze tier four. We get our hundred gems or our free pack of cards. A couple other little legacy pack goodies. And we'll jump into the next one. So we're, we are, these are all uh, one dual ladder ranks. So pretty, pretty quick progression for us. Let's see what we have next. Ooh, I love the love the mate that uh, our opponent has. Good luck, Zamendiz. I see you can go first here, so finally we, we didn't win the coin flip. Yep, looks like we're going second. Well, hopefully we can draw some hand traps here if, if we need them. We'll see what our opponent has. If they're on uh, white, the the, uh, the skeleton, skeleton archetype, that would be very funny. So we did draw a hand trap. We have infinite impermanence. We'll see if that can carry us through to our turn because it looks like we've got just about everything else we could possibly want um, if 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 we make it there so let's see what if anything our opponent has for us okay set one not looking too good so far I'll admit I love that, mate. That's so funny. <laughs> set two? Okay. Are we looking at the famous T-set pass? Because if so, we can probably do quite a bit of damage with, with this hand. We normal swap. We immediately put red on the field so we get some monster effect interaction if, if we need. Um, so two back row. That actually might be a little bit concerning. Let's see what we draw for turn here. Ooh, that's a really good one. That might be exactly what we need, depending on what our opponent has for us. Because that's just about anything in our deck. Um, so let's go ahead and start with Swap Frog. Let's see what they've got. Thinking on a response here. Maybe we're going to negate Swap Frog. Nope, nothing for Swap Frog. So we'll send Ronin Toten. Are they going to do something there? No? Okay, well let's get, let's get Red on the field immediately here. So we have some monster effect protection, just in case. Maybe they have an Ash Blossom. Not that we'd really be too worried about that, since we can stop just about any hand trap between these two cards. So... Rush recklessly. Okay. Um, not sure about this one. This one might be... We might need to get through our, our ladder games pretty quick. Uh, either this is a... Uh... Oh, okay. I think I see what, what happened here. So if you're a new player starting out, just so you know how, uh, how these cards work... Um, Quick plays, because we're on a, a simulator here, uh, quick, quick play cards are going to basically give you a prompt to activate them anytime your opponent does something. So that can be, I'll admit, it can sometimes be a little bit annoying, especially where, um, you know, you don't necessarily have anything relevant to your opponent's plays and you just kind of keep getting that... Uh, you know, that same thing thrown in your face over and over. Like, no, I, I, I don't want to use this card. I, I want to just let the turn play, right? So I, I understand that. Um, definitely always a better idea to conserve your resources where you can. However, it's... Um, again, I, I understand it can be a little bit... A little bit uh, interesting. A little bit frustrating, even, sometimes, if you keep dealing with that but 
It's okay. It's part, it's part of the simulator experience. Trust me, a lot of this stuff is much harder to, to manage in paper play sometimes than, than um, you know, even on simulators. Oh, nice. We can send a swap frog and get a swap frog. All right, we'll send the other one from deck. So we've got tons of materials here. Um, let's see what we're going to use to get our damage in here. Uh, might have been a bit of a mistake putting um, our red in defense here. That's okay. Um, we can get we can get all kinds of damage back on the board, hopefully. We can get our Ronin Toten. Man, we get all kinds of uses of Ronin Toten. We can banish three Swap Frogs to summon a Vec, so we can get three Ronin Totens worth of material here. That's quite good. Um, okay, let's go ahead, and this is going to be more damage anyway, so let's go ahead and um, use Nightmare Phoenix and get rid of this last back row. I got a funny feeling that uh, we won't need our, our infinite impermanence this, uh, this turn, so let's go ahead and destroy that. Stamping Destruction. Okay, I think this is actually a structure deck, if I'm remembering correctly, so we can uh, probably quickly play through the rest of the turn here. I'm just thinking, do I actually have removal? Yeah, Soul Sweeper would be the uh, the last removal we have. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Um, and put this... Uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, put it over here. We'll get this last monster out of the way. So if you haven't seen this card before, basically uh, we just detach a material and we pick uh, a monster on our opponent's side of the field and it just gets banished till the next turn. So it's a great little quick uh, removal tool. Um, on that note, I believe we actually, if my math's right, have lethal on board. Um, I am going to bring back Roan Tone just in case I'm miscounting and I need that extra 100, but I'm pretty sure we have lethal here. And battle phase. Okay. And I believe that will clean things up if I'm if I did my math right. Hmm. So it looks like I didn't do my math right. <laughs> a little bit of a mistake. I could have gone for a link two there, but that's okay. We've got Called by the Grave and Cross out. And we can also link a couple of these more useless monsters off into IP, and our opponent conceded anyway. Yeah, it was going to be too much anyway, so sorry about that, Zemendis. I, I uh, did my, my math a little bit wrong. That should have been the end, but I got greedy and didn't link two there. So remember to do math, guys. That's very, very important rule. Math's pretty hard, but at least Master Duel remembers to do the rules for you, right? Could be worse. We could be like the TCG players every day who'd be like, New tournament policy update from Konami dropped last week for the North American Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. The update was, in summary, Don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't be a bully. Don't swindle people. And don't be an asshole. But we did still make it into Bronze 3. Our win streak continues, and we got another 100 gems. So let's... Let's go for the next one, see if we can get into Bronze 2, and this time I, I promise you guys I'll, I'll do the math. I will absolutely do the math, for sure. Archangel 85 will be our opponent with the Rescue Rabbit Mate, and we are going first again. So let's, let's see what we can do here. Alrighty. Ooh, interesting start. Not the greatest hand, but this should still be enough. Looks like our opponent does have some kind of interaction for us. Well, like Swap Frog, we'll send Roden Toten. Anything, nothing on response. So we do get to special summon our jet. And that should pretty much get us off to the races here. We can get our starter since we already have smashers. That is one nice thing about this hand is that we did uh, already draw one of our uh, end of, of play line um, 
resources, basically. We, we got our, our final search, so we can use blue to uh, immediately get a hold of one of our negations and get red on the field here quickly for whatever our opponent might have for us over there. So that's good. So from here, we can go into pretty much the rest of our plays. They're gigantic. Its effect, and we will get. Uh, we'll detach the swap frog. I don't actually think I'm going to go into. I'm going to play cautiously this time. I'm actually going to get our carrot from the deck, so we have our spell trap negate as well. And I'll just. It kind of, kind of is a bit of a reduction on the resources we have overall, but we didn't have the greatest hand going first here, so I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't think it's too, too big of a deal. Uh, oh, what? Oh, I thought I had. Thought I saw we had an effect in the grave. Um, all right, let's get Elf here. I'll link off these two. And we'll use the effect of Elf. And we'll get back. Um, we could get back a jet, but I'm actually going to purposely leave that in the graveyard this turn so we can get the search. Uh, next turn. So this is, it doesn't look like much, uh, but what this is basically going to be is um, we'll still have access to a Unicorn Spin or an IP Mask, or a uh, Appalooza with our IP Mascarena. We have our Smashers for our Banish, and we have a Spell Negate and a Trap Negate. The only thing we're really missing from this board is is great uh, material for our Red and our Care to send to Grave. We're going to need to use our Elf uh, effect to pretty much immediately get a monster on board as soon as our opponent does something, or else we might unfortunately have to use a resource we don't really want to. Um, right? So let's let's see what they have for us if if we're gonna get to see anything this time. The Nibiru in hand could also carry us as well potentially. So we'll we'll see if there's. Uh, any need for that, although it looks like we may actually just get another another freebie. No, no, okay, we're we're in it. Let's let's see what they have. Gotta say, just a quick shout out to uh, Sprite Starter for uh, leaving your life points at exactly sixty nine hundred. It's excellent. Now this is an absolutely incredible monster to negate. Um, we, we definitely do want to negate this one. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is, this is a bit of a shame, but I think I'm going to send our carrot and then, do I want to immediately reborn the carrot or do I want to reborn jet and get a search? So this is where we might be losing one of our negations here, although they couldn't use lightning storm. Um, let's... Let's try it. Let's bring back, um, let's bring back our, our carrot here. I, I would like to get the search for next turn, so this might be a bit of an incorrect play, but um, I do think that keeping that negation online will be very important. And then on resolution, we can also uh, use IP along with our Elf. Actually, we could even spin that monster back, but that's okay. I think uh, I think I'd be more excited here to uh, have two monster effect negations on board as well. So we've got we still have three negates and a a removal as well. If they do have any incredible combo stuff. Uh, ooh, what is this card? This is Ritual Summoning a Nephthys card. I will stop that, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop that one. That's a... We don't want them to get a free monster on hand. Now, hopefully they don't have a nasty surprise for us here, because that is some... Um, Ah, okay, that's the end of the turn. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use Smashers. I am a little bit worried, so maybe maybe I was a little bit too... Played it a little too safe here. Um, we don't actually have a ton of damage to work with here at this point. Um, so we kind of... 
kind of play this is part of the reason why it's important not to play too cautiously in a lot of cases in duels uh, where you might accidentally um, might accidentally find yourself in a situation like this um, I am just gonna go immediately into battle phase we're gonna clear this diviner and I think I'll try to play as much as I can in main phase two um, we absolutely can extend into quite a few monsters here and yeah because we can we can make elf and we can get back basically our full play line which wouldn't be too bad um, I think I'm gonna do that and hopefully our call by the grave is enough to uh, carry us through any potential interaction our opponent has for us we will use the effect we'll bring back blue Blue effect. And we will get our jet. Summon jet. Jet effect. And I think this is actually our last starter we'll be grabbing. It is, so we won't be able to do this next turn. That's okay. We can activate the starter. And we'll get, I think, one of the last names we have in deck. Um, for, or the only negation we're missing is our red, which is now protected. And for our level 2, link 2, rank 2, um, we could put up Gin Buster. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go Sprite and see if we can get... Uh, we don't actually have IP access, so you know what? Maybe, maybe Gin Buster is the correct move. Our opponent doesn't have anything nice for us to steal. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and um, make Gin Buster here. So it's not the greatest, but it is another monster effect negate, and it has a, a little bonus of some extra burn damage. So let's pass it back to our opponent and see what they can do. Actually, one cool thing we can do on our opponent's turn here with this elf is we can use our blue and get it to search our pixies, which is a little bit of a kind of a, a pseudo hand trap interaction for us here. Uh, not toggle off. Uh, auto is fine. There we go. here. Yeah. Do we have a second blue engrave that we can target anyway? We actually don't, so we'll have to use the Gin Buster effect first. Although, I can also get a Spell Trap negate up as well, uh, if I reborn the carrot again. Okay, so we have summoned... Chronicler of Nephthys. Target a Nephthys card in your grave, destroy a card in your hand, and add that target to your hand. Okay, well, we can um, we can absolutely uh, prevent that from, from going off. But for now, I do think I'm actually... Oh, that's interesting. I can bring back IP um, and potentially Unicorn spin a card away. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm not going to do that. Um, I am just going to get the um, spell trap negate back. I think that's going to be really important here. I'm also not worried about this card because anything it targets... Uh, does this target a card or a monster? Uh, it's an Epthys card, so they could potentially get back the uh, the ritual spell, but I can also just... I'll, I'll probably be negating this with Gin Buster, and, and that should just about, uh, just about do it. Yeah. We'll, we'll stop that one. And then bonus points, because our Gin Buster can be used for fodder for either of our negates here. And we could also use it for Smashers, too. I, I believe it's just any... Banish uh, level 2, rank 2, link 2. Yep, we can banish Gym Buster for this. And that's the end of the game. Okay, I figured we were we were pretty close to the end there. Probably should have would have been able to wrap that up next turn for sure if uh, we drew basically any extra way to get into a monster. But we are up to bronze tier 2 now, which is great. Get our 100 more gems. And just one more victory away for bronze 1.
MiG-27, again with the Rescue Rabbit mate, love it. So we did lose the coin flip this time, we're probably going to be going second. We sure are, so I do think, do think we've been doing pretty good overall in the ratio of uh, coin flips so far, which is definitely nice when you're playing a going first deck, that's for sure. But uh, hopefully we, again, we strategy is always to draw some hand traps and, uh, oh, wow, okay, we've drawn just about everything we could possibly want. Four, four hand traps going second and our best starter card. Well, let's toggle on and see if our opponent has anything interesting for us, but uh, good luck to them on this one. This is... probably one of the strongest turn two hands I think this deck can produce. Oh, Magician's Circle, okay. So, looks like we're up against Dark Magician, which is awesome. It's a very cool deck. Uh, this one's just a search, so I'm not super worried about that one yet. Let's see if they've committed to all of the fun parts of the Dark Magician deck, other than the, the field, which is a little bit interesting. They've got a got quite a mix of uh, cosmetics here. We have the Lava Field, we have Sky Striker um, Sleeves, the Rescue Rabbit Mate, the, uh, the card card mate stand and uh, I don't actually know what uh, fields these are these might be dark magician fields I'm not, I'm not sure about those ones or I shouldn't say fields I should say graveyard and banish pile yeah set one okay they did add the combination fusion or ritual spell to their hand secrets of dark magic doesn't look like they've drawn too great so, based on this, I didn't know that Dark Magician had this mini back row to set, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, okay, that's the turn. So, unfortunately, not able to use any of these hand traps, which is a, a bit of a shame, but sometimes you are the better player in the game. Sometimes you just go second, draw four hand traps in your best starter, and when your opponent sets four cards in their spell trap zone, you just draw Harpy's Feather Duster and win. <laughs> Magician's Navigation. Uh, oh, this is a free special summon. Uh, let's get an extra card draw. Normally we wouldn't maxi on our turn, but any opportunity we can get to draw a little more is, is always helpful. And is this just... Are we just summoning a uh, regular Dark Magician? It looks, looks like it, actually. Uh, special summon one Dark Magician, then special summon a level... Seven or lower Dark Spellcaster from deck. Wow, okay, that's actually a pretty, pretty strong card. And we drew blue off of our, our draw. Oh, are these treated as two separate summons? This isn't simultaneously? Do we get two cards here? That would be pretty nice. I'd, I'd like to draw two cards. They're thinking about it. I assume it's just going to be Dark Magician Girl, maybe? Or uh, what is this card? Chronicle Magician. And there goes all the back row. So I think we're... Unless these have any special effects when they're destroyed, which it doesn't look like. Oh, it can bat, they can... They uh, can... Target a face-up spell trap your opponent controls negate it. Ooh, that's that's actually a bit uh, a bit problematic. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Target Dark Magician or Blue in your monster zone. It gains... Wow! Okay, uh, that's quite a boost of attack here. Unfortunately, we did draw the best... Arguably the best hand trap in our, our deck here. So we're going to summon... Gamma, Special Summon Driver from deck, negate and destroy that 
effect. And with that, I believe our opponent should be completely out of interaction at this point. Because the one thing that they actually... Let's see here, make sure... Okay, yeah, we didn't destroy the combination fusion ritual spell card. So we know we know everything they have at this point. We know that the card in their hand doesn't do anything, and we know that their vanilla Dark Magician also isn't going to do too much at this point. So we can do just about everything. Here's our starter. We'll get our... Our red, not that it'll be too relevant at this point. Um, wow, what? So we can get anything we want. We could even. Is this a dark monster? It sure is. We could even bring this back for ourselves. Um, that would be pretty funny. Let's do that. We we don't often get a get a chance to um, to make plays like this. So I think that'd be a pretty funny one for, for this game. So we're going to summon Dark, the Dark Charmer Gloomy, and... Oh, can we not? Are we already locked? We are locked. I forgot we used Starter. That's okay. We're learning. We're learning. I I completely forgot about uh, about Starter. That's okay. Um, we can still get all kinds of uh, value, and I'm not worried about us having removal for this Dark Magician either, because we still have uh, Smashers as well. So, we're going to detach blue, and we'll get Swap Frog. Yeah, this should be, this should be fine. Uh, the zones are going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit messy, unfortunately, but uh, we'll definitely be able to get into, I think, pretty much everything we could possibly want here, as we can just go Elf. And we will use Elf's Effect, and we'll bring back uh, another Swap Frog. Okay. Yeah, let's see if this time we can remember to do the math properly. That's that's going to be the biggest the biggest thing in all of this is making sure we uh, we we do our counting. We remember our times tables. Get swap Frog out of here. Get our Ronin Toten back. And let's see here. So, damage wise, on Ibimaru's 1900, we can. Let's see. So, we'll have 19, 14, 18, and 12. That doesn't sound like enough. We've already used Sprite and Elf. Um, we can also. Oh, we don't actually want to return that to our opponent's hand. I thought this banished. Um, that's a little bit of a mistake. Um, let's see here. Uh, we could also just smashers it away uh, and not really, not really care too, too much about it. We can also tribute summon Nibiru, which would be quite funny at this point. It's not a good play. It is definitely a play we can make. Uh, yeah, well, I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm not like Icarus here, and I'm not flying too close to the sun. But I do think summoning Nibiru here is very, very funny. So let's let's do it. And actually, wow, we could even get one more material with Ronin Toad. That's that's very funny. Um, yeah, let's do that, and then we'll have um, we'll have IP as well, and we can even get just a tiny bit of extra damage here. Oh, hold on now. If we smashers that away, do we have lethal? 3,000, 4,400, 5,600, 6,000, 7,450. So it's not. So let's just let's just go to combat. We're not going to be able to win this turn, sadly, but that's okay. It's not a it's not a big deal. Punch over the dark magician. It's nice that they don't have any interaction for us here. We can do basically anything we want. And we'll link off our, let's see here, our Ronin Oh, can we not? Oh, right, we can't use Link Monsters for IP. Um, okay. Um, I'm not too worried about that, actually. We, we know the card in our opponent's hand is a spell trap. So, we can make IP and then we'll just uh, immediately bring back, um, do we have Carrot? We actually don't. Okay, that's that's fine. We we should be able to 
I'm not not too worried about uh, anything our opponent would have for us here with this many cards. So good luck to you, MiG-27. Um, I think the massive amount of banishes and negates that I have here should be enough for one one fusion ritual spell card that you potentially will only be drawing into one monster for. Um, the best draw on their deck here, now they could get out of this for sure, uh, would probably be Magician's Rod maybe. That would be a good one for them to draw because that would give them potentially another search that would lead into another monster. But if Magician's Rod pops up, we're definitely going to negate it with infinite impermanence, and then we're probably going to put it back in our opponent's deck with with IP and maybe some other uh, some other monster we bring back from the grave from Elf. So this should be it. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one from this position. We even still have a ghost bell in hand if they do try to do some kind of uh, funny business with their graveyard. But right now, I've I've got a funny feeling that this one might be already in the bag at, at this point. Okay, looks like we've drawn for turn. Let's see what they get. Just about, I'm trying to think if there would be anything here that would actually be a really, really big concern. A board wipe would be pretty problematic, but even if even if they did draw like Raigeki or Dark Hole or something like that, we could just make. We could honestly just make a gigantic Appaloosa. Yeah, that's that's it. That's it. Awesome. So we're we're on quite a roll at this point, guys. It's uh, we're doing quite well. We're finally all the way up to bronze tier one. Get a hundred more gems, and with that, let's go into our hopefully what will be our final game for the bronze rank at bronze one, and see if we can get our silver. Okay, we are going second. Hopefully. Hopefully, if we're made to go second here, which I imagine we will be, um, we we draw as impressive of a, a hand as we did on our earlier going second game with with four hand traps. That was that one was something else. Not quite that much, but certainly almost everything we need here i think uh, we we definitely can't get there with this it's a little bit strange we're gonna have to use probably swap frog and red to make gigantic and and get the rest of our sprite characters in play here but having both infinite impermanence and ash blossom for our turn is uh excellent stuff going second so let's see let's see what our opponent has for us here Gotta say, seeing a lot of the uh, Rescue Rabbit mate today, and uh, I'll admit, he is quite cute, so I see why he's so popular. Lady Debug. Okay, so we're probably up against Salamangrate here. Normal Summon. No search. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well. Well, now we have a little too much in the way of hand traps. Not sure if this is a bait or not, but I'm just going to play like we, we normally would here and, and hope that uh, hope that there's no, no nothing to be concerned about from our opponent's side. We do have a call by the grave, so I'm not too worried about anything our opponent might have for us here. Got a gigantic. And nothing on the summon. Let's see if the effect resolves. And we are definitely going to remember to detach our swap frog here so we can get our Ronin Toten back. Um, looks like they don't have anything for us here, so we should be off to the races. blue 
we'll get Jet. They can't Nibiru us now under Gigantic's effect, so... Just about the only thing left they'd be able to do would be to go for some kind of hand trap, which again, hopefully we, we'd be able to stop with Called by the Graves. So at this stage, we're in a fairly commanding position. Um, we do have access to our red in the graveyard, so we can bring that back pretty easily. Um, let's get our own Toten. All kinds of material. Yes, I understand I'm putting all my materials on the board to, to start. Um, I'm not too worried about interaction from my opponent at this point. I, I think we're we are in a pretty pretty commanding place right now. Elf. Use elf. We'll get back our Roman Toten. And actually, you know what I think I will do this time, just because it's a little bit different and we haven't actually made this monster yet. Let's uh, see if we can get some value out of Sky Cavalry Centauria this time around. Yeah, let's let's go with that. So we're, we're not going to overextend into anything that could get us into trouble here. Um, we're just going to get in for a good amount of damage. to set all kinds of back row maybe so i'm actually going to do something a little bit different and i'll explain why here's my theory i'm actually going to hold one of my infinite impermanences in my hand normally you probably wouldn't do that but i do think that there is some value in it on the chance we get board wiped because then we'll still have some interaction in hand so we have we do have a spell trap negate a monster effect negate a graveyard negate and banish um, we can certainly get another monster effect negate. Oh no, we didn't actually send uh, red. Hmm, okay. That's okay. Uh, like I said, we had a bit of a, an interesting start. Yeah, our red is, is actually still on our gigantic, so... It's okay, we got tons of interaction for our opponent. I'm, I'm not too worried. I think, uh, if anything, if this is a, a full cyber strategy, funnily enough, our Ash Blossom might be the deciding factor here. Salamangrate Mirror, so we are playing Salamangrate with a five card extra deck. Looks like either Cybers or Salamangrate or a mix of Cybers and Salamangrate. Battle phase. Okay. Uh, we might have... Do we have some kind of battle trap? Am I missing an effect of this card? Doesn't seem that way way okay I'm I'm not too worried about using elf here I, I think we can probably just just wrap this one up I okay I have to say the call by the grave infinite impermanence stuff here is very funny I do have Leith on board, and, and I should just be wrapping things up here. I will say, I just want to get my red back on the field. The other monster here doesn't particularly matter. I'm not going to go into blue. That's that's too much. Let's just quickly get Swap Frog's effect out here. We'll get our last Swap Frog into the grave. And more importantly, we'll use Elf and we'll get our last negation up. Just, just in case, uh, this was probably entirely unnecessary, but you never know. So let's, with that, let's go into the battle phase and wrap things up. And just for fun, I'm going to wrap this one up with Sky Cavalry Centauria because we haven't used this monster very much, so I think it's worth it. But that is it for the bronze rank. Little bit of a mixed bag of duels, I'll, I'll admit, but uh, that's why we're, we're laddering as quick as we can here. Um, and I think we've been on quite a streak. We've on, uh, been on a bit of a tear and doing quite well. We've made it up to Silver Tier 5 without a single loss. So, happy for that. Extra 100 gems over top of the 100 we normally get for a rank up game. Happy there. And a couple more goodies coming out of that. So, that's it for the Bronze Rank. Let's go ahead and get into the Silver Rank. So, what did you guys think? 
Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more awesome content like this. See you guys in the next video.